Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to share with you today's video. It's a recipe that is super simple and really good for prepping early in the day to have throughout the week or you can just make it in like less than 30 minutes for dinner time and it is a Greek yogurt based pizza crust and then you can top it with whatever kind of pizza toppings you want. It's delicious and super simple to make. So stay tuned and check out how you can make this delicious, super high in protein, low in carbs pizza. And I love pizza and because I have a gluten intolerance, I don't get it very often, so I'm very excited. The ingredients are super simple. Uh, I'm gonna do chicken and mushroom pizza because I don't have pepperoni, so, um, which you can get turkey pepperoni from the store or whatever you want. I have this garlic pre or pre-seasoned chicken. It's like a garlic herb chicken and then I have mushrooms. Those are gonna be my toppings. My cheese, salt, and baking powder. And then I have Greek yogurt in the fridge. I don't have pizza sauce, but I have this pasta sauce and I don't really know what the difference is, so I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna do a com combination of almond flour and coconut flour as the flour base with the Greek yogurt. And if you don't have a gluten intolerance, you can use regular flour. So I'm going to start first by prepping the chicken and mushrooms. So I'm gonna cut up the chicken and cut up the mushrooms and let them saute for a little bit. And while those are cooking, I'll mix up the flour. You can see I have here the chicken is seasoned. It looks and smells awesome. And then my mushrooms over here are sauteing very nicely and my house smells so good right now. All right, so I am doubling this recipe because I'm cooking for two. Um, so you can half it if you are only cooking it for one, but I'm gonna double it because I'm prepping for myself and for my husband quickly. So I'm gonna start with two cups of blanched almond flour and I am not gonna actually use a little bit extra coconut flour, kind of eyeball it just because um, it's not exactly the same texture and consistency as regular flour. Just gonna kinda eyeball that a little bit. That's probably a fourth cup or so. And then I'm gonna use three teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna use my Himalayan pink salt. It calls for kosher salt, but I don't have that, so. And then I'm gonna use my yogurt, my Greek yogurt, and it calls for two cups of Greek yogurt. I'm actually gonna stir my mixture first, get that together. I'm gonna get messy in the kitchen and use my hands, so I'm gonna use one cup of Yogurt, Ugh. two cups of yogurt. And here I have the yogurt and the flour and I'm going to just start folding it and making it into a dough. The dough is made and I do have these pizza pans. They're just circle pizza pans. I got them at Walmart for like two bucks. I'm gonna use the dough that's in here and I'm going to spread it out onto here and it's perfect timing because the oven's ready. Okay, now that I have both crusts done, I'm just going to put them in the oven for about 10 minutes or until they start to get golden brown and then I will take them out, top them off, put them back in for the last five minutes. The first round of pizza crust being cooked is done. You can see it's nice and beautifully golden brown around the edges and my toppings are ready. I've got my mushrooms there, my chicken there, mozzarella and my pasta sauce. I'm gonna use this hudiki to spread it around. I don't know what this is called, my sauce spreader. And then I'm going to put it back in the oven just so that the cheese can cook and melt one more time for about five minutes and then they're donezo. If you're feeling super fancy, you can add bell peppers, you can add any kind of pineapple, whatever kind of pizza toppings you want. This is a really great way to hide your vegetables so that you can get the micronutrients in without feeling like you're eating a ton of vegetables. I'm just out of vegetables other than mushrooms. So make it your own. I love to hear how you do it and how you make your pizza. Wow. 
voila just like that we've got delicious pizza gluten-free pizza it's packed with protein and I am so excited to eat it you can enjoy this anyway it has limitless options and I really hope you try it out this holiday season because I know everybody's busy um, I literally made this during like in my break at school so it doesn't take long I prepped it it's only like 11 o'clock in the morning but now that it's prepped I can keep it in the oven and then when Quigley gets home he can preheat it and heat it up in like six minutes and it'll be ready to go crispy again so I'm really excited because it's so delicious and it's packed with protein the almond flour has tons of protein the Greek yogurt has tons and tons of protein it's like 22 grams per cup and then um, all of the chicken on it is full of protein so high protein low carb technically kind of high in fat with the mozzarella but also high in protein so it's a really really great pizza alternative if you want to bite that craving and have some pizza I would try this recipe out and indulge because it's so yummy so there you have it I wanted to make just a quick video for you and say thank you to everyone who watches and who subscribes it really supports this channel so if you like this video and you want more tips on how to eat healthy how to eat clean give this video a thumbs up like it and subscribe so that you never miss a video because I upload new videos every single week love you guys I'll see you next time bye